Okay, YouTube, man, we back. We about to get to it, man. We about to have some fun. We about to make some money. So listen, guys, I won't keep you long, but I want all 300,000 of you guys to tap in with me on this if you want to make some money. I told you guys in 2020 and in 2021, I'm going to start making sure that during bear markets, corrections, and crashes, if you rock with me, we're making money during those times. We're not going to just sit back and be losing money. So if you are trying to make some money, please like and subscribe and let me know down in the comments below, okay? Now listen, guys, I'm gonna share my watch list with you guys, okay? My watch list is the plays that I'm gonna be playing on tomorrow and into next week, okay? So listen to this. Everything that I'm sharing with you today, I'm doing puts on. I'm gonna circle back and tell you guys levels but here's the here's the gist for today okay i'm doing puts so i want you guys to do a put okay now look i want you guys because i gotta teach you how to fish okay it's one thing for me to show you every step of the way which i'm going to do i'm going to hold your hand okay but then i need you to go out and apply and use your own logic like man what would chris do right here what entry price would he shoot for? What time of day would he jump into this play? Oh, the play ran up. If he's going to do a put, he probably would be buying it while it's sitting way up here, anticipating that it's going to come down. Okay, listen, guys. The plays on my watch list for tomorrow will be Lucid as number one, okay? Lucid going down, okay? I don't care about, and I'm sad that I even got to teach you guys about fake out breakouts and pump fakes, but that's how crazy the market is, okay? So look, even if they try to go up temporarily, I don't care what it do, it's going to come down, okay? Lucid is one. PayPal is the other, okay? I'm looking for more downward pressure. Yes, it may try to go up. There will be times throughout the day that the play will go up, but I am going to be playing the periods in which it comes down, okay? I want you guys to consider those two. If nothing else, put them on your watch list and watch what they do. And then I want you to think about where was Chris making money at in this play if he's gonna do a put, regardless of if the stock is up 4%, 7%, to the upside on the day. I can easily do a call, guys. I always preach about being flexible and nimble. I can pivot at the drop of a dime. I don't care about making money on the call side because I can do that with ease. I'm going to make money on a put on these two plays regardless if they're going up or down because every stock has ebbs and flows. Every stock, if you go look, pull up your phone, pull up your computer, look at the screen, okay? I told you, charts are nothing but money signs to me. All I see is money when I look at charts. Whether the candlestick is going up, whether it's green, whether the candlestick is going down, or whether it's red, that's money to be made, okay? And all you need is 10 cent, 20 cent, 30 cent increments to do your thing. Of course, I can let them ride and make a killing, but even the small victory is what I'm gonna be after on tomorrow. So listen guys, loose it to the downside. So you already know on our $100 a day challenge, we had a $38 strike that we chose. I'm still gonna hold that and ride that down to the levels I told you. Again, feeling like I was maybe a day early. Tomorrow, some of those levels, at least the 38 one, may get reached on tomorrow, if not for sure by Friday, okay? And then PayPal, I don't care what it do. It may go up tomorrow for all I know. But listen, nothing go up in a straight line. Everything has dips. And guess who gonna be waiting? Your boy. I'm gonna be waiting for every single dip that PayPal has, no matter what it do. And if it goes down, I'm gonna gladly ride it all the way down, okay? So those are the two plays that I'm looking at Okay, and listen, I do in the money or deep in the money strikes. So I'm not putting nothing way out. I'm not going for a cheap premium. I'm going for if the if the stock is 175, I'm picking a 175 strike. If Lucid is 39, I'm choosing a 39 strike or in our case, 38, okay? But if you guys need to know, man, what strike should I pick? And last but not least, guys, if you 
know, which I'm telling you guys, you got two to three more weeks of this level of pain. The pain as a whole won't be over, but this level of pain is like two or three more weeks. Then everything else would just be choppy. Green day, red day, green day, red day, red day, red day, green day. Okay, you got that coming. So you're not out of the woods yet. But listen, if you want to just make money on the back end, put your expiration date out far. I'm doing weeklies or January 21st expiration date because I'm going to be in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out. Okay, I'm catching. I don't care what the stock do. I told you, I don't care. Wall Street going to always try to play the little people. I don't care about that. I'm about to just do my thing within these plays. Okay, but for you that may not fully be there yet. We're going to get there as a family, okay? But for you that may not be there yet, if you don't play it close, put your expiration date at least to January 28th or sometime in February so that regardless, you got time to make your mistakes. You you get, you got time to, if you bought the wrong entry, you still got time for the play to recover and go in the direction which we want it to go, okay? Listen, guys, the market will throw curveballs, okay? So it's sometimes difficult to predict things to a T. None of us can do that, but we can do our due diligence and project where we believe things will go and should go, okay? And then remember not to be greedy. Get in and get out. Let's have some fun. Let's make some money. I'm going to circle back and I'm going to teach it more in depth, but I want you guys to just know the plays, loosen and PayPal for tomorrow to the downside, okay? Yep, they might try to go up temporarily. That's a fake out breakout. This is a down market. This is a down market. Everything is going down. So all the upward movement is fake. It's just fake. It's called a bull trap. They're trying to make you think like lucid today, try to run up 7% knowing that it wants to come to $34, okay? Again, there's so much I got to teach you guys because when you don't know the game, you just can take a loss and be mad at the source or at the wrong reason, not knowing what they're truly doing. I'm trying to, again, alleviate all that for you guys and give some clarity to all this. We're going to have some fun tomorrow. We're going to earn while we learn like we always do, man. But let's get ready to have some fun, guys. Listen, Lucid and PayPal are the plays to the downside. So listen. Do a put for me. Buy a put. You don't got to own a stock. You don't got to even care about these stocks. Over here, we make money off of all these plays, okay? We ain't in love with none of them. We're just getting our money on. We're just running our bag up, okay? That's what I'm expecting us to do. I'm going to feed you guys a few that's on my watch list further, maybe for the next day, so that you guys can know the rest that I'm looking at, and then we can make money off of those too. But tomorrow, we're doing puts. Everybody... Trust your gut, trust your teaching, trust your experience, your losses, your lessons, as well as your wins, okay? Trust it all. If you don't like the setup, fall back, sit down, okay? If you like what you see, let's get ready to eat. You guys know how we do, man. When they sleep, we eat. When they panic, we pounce, guys. Listen, we make videos like this every day. So if you like this one, make sure you check out the next one. Remember, most people see the end result. Very few consider the journey, but do me a favor. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you guys grab some free stock using my link below. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.